I heard the creaking of tall grasses and wood burning behind the home. The thick black smoke was starting to billow high above the trees, and this was good. Someone was going to see the smoke and the huge fire and come to investigate, come to our rescue, come to see people who fought to free themselves from some very sick bastards. That was the good news. The bad news was that Francis was missing and we didn't know what he was up to. From the looks of it, he didn't go back into the house, but instead he ventured north. Was he thinking clearly? Does he know how to escape or did he just instinctively crawl to safety away from Kenny? I ran back around to the front of the house to find Oren. The dry parts of the field were ablaze and the workers were bringing in whatever wood they could find to make the fire bigger. I saw Bertie still lying there on the ground where she took a bullet that probably saved my life. I walked by the flames over to her body. I was kneeling next to her as the flames grew around us. The heat from the flames was different from what I remembered. The sensation was pleasant, not like the humid heat that we endured here in the swamp. It was a dry heat that breathed life into the air around us. I put her lifeless right hand in mine and said a prayer. Lord, I don't know many prayers, and I don't know you, but please take this woman to a peaceful place. She suffered long enough. Amen. Right as I finished, I felt a hand on my shoulder. No, it wasn't Jesus. I knew it was Oren, and I felt comforted. 